Hi everyone, I'm glad you got to come to class with me today and I'm very excited to go ahead and show you how to make that fidget activity that we were trying to do earlier. We're going to look at fidgets as being a kind of a thing to help ourselves to de-stress when we're upset, frustrated or annoyed or any of those things start happening that we feel out of control. It allows us to focus on something other than what's stressing us out. And as you can see, this is called the infinity cube. We have the old fashioned spinners. And of course, we have all these lovely fidgets that we can play with. For this activity, you're going to need the following. You're going to need some toothpicks. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need some glue. You're going to need some tape, a marker, and the two templates that are in the classroom, the one that looks like a um, a Y and the circle. And you're going to need some coins or three pennies, which are gonna serve as your weights. You can use washers if you like those instead, or you can use the pennies, they're the same size as the circle. So it makes more sense to do it that way. The first thing you're gonna need is you're also gonna need some cardstock and some construction paper. First thing about the cardstock is that it is heavier than construction paper, so it will hold up for a little bit longer. You can certainly use construction paper if you choose to do so. And I'm going to pick my favorite on here. I think I like the rainbow, so I'm going to use that one as the base of my fidget. So I'm going to cut that out. Start out with a nice square. So let me switch my camera to my smaller camera here. You can check a look at what I'm doing on the table. All right, so I'm starting out. I have my paper. And I'm going to get my template and place it on my paper. Wherever I'd like, I'm gonna use this rainbow. As I said, I like that. Go ahead and grab a marker here. I'm gonna trace my first template onto my paper. Now you don't have to use a template if you don't want to. You can choose to make a fidget any design that you like. I'm simply using the template because I can balance it better. Then I'm also going to take, and I'm going to use my construction paper to make myself two little circles as well. Those are going to be what goes inside of my fidget. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And this is going to be the base of my fidget. Now, if you'd like, you can also use regular cardboard, construction paper, whatever you like, and then decorate it. It's your choice how you wanna do that. But I already had some card stock that had some pretty colors on it, so I decided to do that. Put that aside. And then I'm going to put my template aside so I don't lose it. Then I'm going to take my construction paper and I'm going to trace two circles. If I don't like the template, if you notice, the penny is the same size. So you could choose to use your penny if you like to. Draw my circles. And again, I want two of them. And I'm going to go ahead and cut those out. Being very careful to make sure that I don't cut it too small or too big because they need to be relatively the same size. I'm sure you have a shortcut you can also use for this one. You could put two pieces of paper together and do that if you want to. I'm doing it the old fashioned one at a time way. Set that aside. Now I have my top and I have my bottom. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mark the exact center of my spinner. 
then I'm going to use my toothpick. I'm going to put a hole into the center of my spinner. Right on through the center there, like that. Now, I'm going to decide which one of my circles is going to be my top and which one of my circles is going to be my bottom. And in this case, they're both the same size, so I can pretty much pick where I want. I'm going to mark their centers. And I'm going to place them on the toothpick. Not the whole way down to the top of the center though. You want a little bit of space between them. And then do the same thing on the back. Again, giving some space so that I can freely spin my spinner. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna glue my spinner my piece to the little bit above the spinner so that it can stay there without moving hot glue works too or you can certainly use um some crazy glue whatever you like there is fine i'm just going to use a little bit of stick glue for that stick them on and then i should be able to freely spin my spinner Now I can leave it as is if I like. It, it's completely finished as a spinner. Or I can take some construction paper, fuzzies, whatever I like and decorate the spinner to cover up the toothpick. And the more you put on the spinner, the more um, weighted it will be. The other thing to remember is that we're also going to weight down the sides with our pennies. So I'm gonna take some time here and I think I like some hearts. So I'm gonna draw myself some hearts that are a little bit bigger than that circle or a little bit smaller than the circle, whatever you like is fine. Maybe I like some clouds, maybe I like some hearts, whatever. You're gonna make some shapes to put on top of the spinner. Draw myself some hearts. And of course I'll draw the hearts and there's the half of them, remember that. Lovely process of symmetry. One. Two. And three. And each one of those will then go on to my spinner. Now, if I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So for each one of my hearts that I have, I'm gonna make that a little bit more heart shaped. Each heart that I have on the top, I also want to put one on the bottom. And for anger management purposes, our hearts shapes remind us of empathy and love and kindness to ourselves and others. Again, if I put it on the top, I have to put it on the bottom. Put my garbage aside there. Take it on down. I make a little spot in the middle and place it on top. And bring it on down over top of there. Making sure that I can still freely spin the middle. That's the important part. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Heart down through the middle. Making sure I can still freely spin the spinner. And I can keep going. Um, I said I wanted to make some clouds. Maybe I'll use my blue here. Make some stuff, some clouds.
can kind of make it as I wish. My cloud go around there. Cloud number one. Cloud number two, put cloud number one on top. Poke it on down through that circle. Cloud number two on the bottom. And there I've got my weighted pieces and I've got my other part. And I'm still able to spin that spinner, which is what I want to be able to do. So once I have as much as I want to put on my spinner, I can just trim off the end of where my toothpick is. I can make it into a top if I want to. Or I can trim off the other side. I got a smaller spinner there. Again, we are using those pieces as a way of uh, kind of helping out with that toothpick. So we could keep adding on if you want to until you have what you like with the toothpick, or you can trim the toothpick until it's small enough that it acts as a spinner on itself. Now the final piece is we're going to take these pennies and we're going to weight down the spinner. What'll happen in this way is that the spinner spins very nice as it's not attached to their sides there. Move it up a little bit, a little bit of adjustment. The spinner spins very nice on its own, but the weights will allow it to spin faster. I'm gonna take and we're going to put the three pennies on the sides of the spinner. Try to tuck on their side there. Put this one on this one. And the last one on this one. You can certainly decorate your spinner any way you like to. Look how fast that goes now with those pennies on there, right? Wowzers, look at that. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Pretty amazing there, my friends. Pretty amazing. So that, my friends, is our spinner. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed um, making your spinners. If you do decide to make one, please feel free to share it with us in the classroom. Again, if you like to make it as a top, you can certainly do that. You can keep adding on items to give it some weight there on the top. And of course, those pennies or washers are a great way to give yourself some of that speed. We use the spinner as a way to kind of remind ourselves that we're in control of our emotions. We can look at it from that perspective and look at it and uh, watch it spin as a kind of a focused mindfulness practice. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. And may you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your spinners. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.